had my first House of Reps meeting this past Tuesday, and Fernanda's going to talk more about the student concerns brought up. Um, hi. Uh, so to start with this stuff, um, many students have seen cockroaches and rats in classrooms. They have a little bit of concerns about that, but I have already talked to Dr. Cooper already, and, and she says she's going to be checking out that with administrators and custodians. Um, the administrators are also trying to enforce the use of virtual ID Minga, but it's not actually really working out because there's really a lot of blockage between the internet and the reception at school. So the app doesn't load for students. So I don't know how is that going to work. Uh, bathrooms are being closer in fifth and sixth period. Apparently they're not. I talk about it with Dr. Cooper and it seems they're not. Maybe there's some issues that are being fixed. She said that whenever that happens, she's gonna try to have some type of sign on the bathroom's doors so students know the reason for the bathrooms being closed. Uh, trash cans are being way too full and they smell really bad. She also said she's gonna try to check out with the custodians and janitors what's going on with that and why they're not being clean. Uh, maggots are coming out of the trash cans and getting on students' lockers and ruining their books. So they're also trying to figure out how to fix that stuff. Uh, apparently, Dr. Cooper didn't know about it, and she said that uh, it's going to try to see what's going on with that too. Uh, first whole bathrooms not being clean. You can see urine and feces sometimes in the bathrooms. Um, I'm also going to try to see what's going on with the custodians and why it's nothing being done yet. Uh, there's problems with the lunch uh, for students to be able to go out because um, apparently juniors and sophomores are trying to get out too as well and just using fake IDs and um, pictures. So, and security is not actually really checking it. So Dr. Cooper said that right now, why she's gonna try to have two security guards down in the door to stop um, underclassmates for going out and making it difficult for seniors. She said after that, she's gonna try to um, use the digital ID Minga more. So security only checks and scans the page. But like, once again, I don't know how it's going to work because of the internet. The students are not able to load the page at school. So I don't know how it's that actually going to work with it. Um, so there was also information about the adult school from students who are attending it. Apparently, the teacher is giving misinformation to students saying they, they only need to attend to the times a week from two to four hours a day, uh, which is apparently is wrong. The students need to attend the four days, one to two hours each day. Uh, parents have been getting emails about students not attending this adult school and getting in trouble because of it. I talk about it with Dr. Cooper. She says she's going to try to talk to Dr. Tra Dr. Travin and try to figure out what's going on to see why there is misinformation given to students. Um, and the gender neutral bathrooms are also being closed again, but apparently it's because the students are vandalizing them. We're trying to figure out ways to communicate uh, students to inform them to stop uh, vandalizing school properties because they are privileged for them to have as long, just like the hygiene dispensers and girls' bathroom are also not working anymore. They've been without working like for two weeks already. Uh, and no LGBTQ lockers, LGBTQ students are not able to change uh, the lockers because they're not able to use the room they were, it was supposed to be given to them. Dr. Cooper says she's going to try to talk to Ms. Peacock about it and try to figure out and find a place for students to feel comfortable and change. Um, uh, we talk about, again, about security guards going into bathroom without announce, announcing themselves. Apparently, it might be for some reason that they see or smell something that is not supposed to be going on in the bathrooms. But many students keep saying that they should at least let them know before going to the bathrooms because it makes them uncomfortable. And 
I think that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that takes us to members of the board. Uh, Ms. McBride, would you like to go first? 